had this success, had this attempt, this planned attempt on Kavanaugh's life been successful, it would have stopped. The re if, if there is a 5-4 vote right now to overturn Roe, Kavanaugh would be one of those five. If he had been killed, it would have stopped the overturning of Roe. It would have been 4-4 four, four if they wait till the next one. This, uh, the lady that's, she's not sworn in yet, right? right. I might have been asleep. But even if they waited, then we would still lose because she would vote for, uh, against Dobbs and for the continuation of Roe. So a lot of people, what I'm saying is this attempt, this planned attempt against his life could very well have been a demonic plan still after the case has happened to overturn this vote yes. by killing one of the pro-life justices. Mm -hmm. It was real. Yes. He was there with weapons. Yes. We are not going to allow this on our watch. We're just not going to allow it to be stolen. We're not. So let me read a few verses. I'm like you. I, I, I'm just distracted by this tonight. I'm really hoping this is God leading me, and I'm not just, you know, being distracted by this in the, in the atmosphere or something. I feel this is God that He wants us to do this tonight. You agree with this? Okay. We have to do this. We just have to do it. So, Acts chapter 4, 25. Why did the Gentiles rage and the peoples devise futile things? The kings of the earth took their stand and rulers were gathered together against the Lord and his Christ. It's a quote from Psalm 2 that is being applied to what's happening here in the book of Acts in, that, in the day of the early church. For truly in this city they were gathered together against thy holy servant Jesus, whom thou didst anoint, both Herod and Pontius, Pontius Pilate, along with the Gentiles and the people of Israel, to do whatever thy hand and purpose predestined to occur. And now, Lord, Take note of their threats. We're going to pray this tonight. Take note of the threats. And grant that thy bondservants may speak your word with all confidence. While thou dost extend thy hand to heal. And signs and wonders take place. Through the name of your holy servant, Jesus. Yes. In other words, bring a counter movement that is greater than the demonic movement. Yes. And answer that with boldness in the church and power from on high. Yes. And when they had prayed, the place where they had gathered together was shaken. They were all filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak the word of God with boldness. And the congregation of those who believed were of one heart and soul, and not one of them claimed that anything belonging to him was his own, but all things were common property to them and with great power. Some of you know that's the word mega in Greek, mega power. With mega power, God turned up the power. Mega power. With mega power, the apostles were giving witness to the resurrection of the Lord Jesus and mega or abundant grace was on them all. I 
can assure you that what God wants to do is he wants to reverse, turn the tables, reverse what Satan's trying to do, and out of it bring such a power and release of Holy Spirit grace signs wonders salvations conversions that it completely silences what the enemy is doing Now, I'm sure most of you know, we read about this morning, Clay read it. They are literally calling for a summer of rage. The, the pro-choice movement, the satanic, satanic movement, they are calling for a summer of rage. Let's call for a summer of revival. Amen. Let's call for a summer of miracles, signs, wonders, miracles. We can do this. We can do this. So let's pray. Stand if you would. Let's just spend a few minutes on this. Lord, your word makes it clear that when you are doing something significant, Satan tries to alter your times and decrees, tries to intimidate, tries to wear down the church, the saints, tries to bring confusion, tries to intimidate and bring fear you told us that in Acts their response was to say don't let this fear don't let that overtake us give us more boldness they literally asked you for more boldness and you gave them a spirit of boldness a spirit of faith a spirit of confidence. You caused something to rise up in the church that said, we will not be silent. We will not allow this movement to stop. And you answered that by giving them great grace. You gave them great power, signs, wonders, to verify Christ the Messiah, and that he was alive. And we are asking you for the same thing today. For a generation that has lost its way, that is confused, that many, many no longer even believe in you, and they don't believe the scriptures. We're asking you to come and convince them with your great power that you are God and that Jesus is Lord. And so we are asking for this mega grace and mega power to be released. Extraordinary miracles, extraordinary manifestations of Holy Spirit. We're asking for in the enemy's assignments to be pushed back. We break the attack of incantations and witchcraft against the pro-life leaders against those in the church that are leading movements for life that are that are speaking out for life we just put up a shield of faith over them and around them now as watchmen and women we just say this is not going to uh, to succeed we put up a hedge of protection around the justices we say you're not going to uh, to steal a vote. You're not going to take out a life vote. You're not going to change a mind. Demon powers are not going to succeed in this. We put a sign, a, a position, a barrier, a wall up in the spirit 
We build walls of protection around them by the power of intercession. And we say, you are not going to cross into their thinking and influence them. You're not going to change their mind. You're not going to intimidate them. You're not going, there. You're not going to, to frighten them through a family member or, or threats against their families. This is not going to succeed. And Lord, we do ask you to move upon the legal uh, uh, system to protect the justices and their families. We ask for prosecutions against those who are burning, who are pillaging, who are bombing, fire bombing, uh, pro-life clinics. We, we ask you for a movement that is raised up to cause this to stop. But Lord, more than anything else, we bind these powers of darkness that are operating right now through uh, stealing, killing, and destroying. And we break every curse off of, off of pro-life ministries and organizations and judges and, and government leaders and pastors and voices for truth. We, we break every curse that is being spoken over them in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord.